So you might have noticed this pop-up appearing on your Windows 7 machine, which basically says, after 10 years, support for Windows 7 is nearing the end. January 14th, 2020 is the last day Microsoft will offer security updates and technical support for computers running Windows 7. We know change can be difficult, that's why we're reaching out early to help you back up your files and prepare for what's next. Now, essentially what it's telling you is you need to upgrade to Windows 7. Now, thankfully, if you're running Windows 7 Home or Pro or any version of Windows 7 legally, then you can still take advantage of a free legal loophole, which means that you can update to Windows 10 using your Windows 7 code for free. Now this offer was supposed to end a few years ago and uh, Microsoft stopped advertising it and said it ended, but basically never turned off the facility to still allow you to upgrade. So have a look at my video, click in the top right hand corner of this video right now and this will take you to the video that shows you how to upgrade for free to Windows 10. Now, I must stress, before you do this, please make sure you back up all your files and make sure you've got copies of your programs just in case anything goes wrong and then at least you can put the system back. But generally, the upgrade to Windows 10 is pretty, pretty reliable. So, uh, but I'd always say back up first. So, basically, this message is telling you that come the 14th of January 2020, Microsoft are no longer going to provide security updates for Windows 7. So, essentially, it means if on the 14th of January or the 15th of January or any time after that, a hacker comes along, writes a virus which wipes out Windows 7, then Microsoft are not going to lift a finger to repair it. Now you might be saying, oh well, that's alright, I've got an antivirus, the antivirus will protect me. Well, if you're running Microsoft Security Essentials, then quite possibly they're going to end support for Microsoft Security Essentials on the same date. Other antiviruses might protect you for a bit longer, but not having the backing of Microsoft can mean that you're not getting full protection and like I say, if there's something that your antivirus companies can't protect you against, whereas Microsoft could have, again, Windows 7 might stop working. Also, Microsoft aren't going to write any new features for Windows 7 or aren't going to adapt their technology to keep up with new technologies that are around. So essentially, any time after the January the 14th, 2020, if, say, your favourite website starts using a new technology, then Windows 7 might not be able to take advantage of that. So uh, what I would recommend is, if you can, try and take advantage of the free legal loophole that's in the video that's up in the top left-hand corner right now. Click on that, have a look through it, back up your files and give it a go. Hopefully, you can squeeze a little bit more life out of your Windows 7 computer by upgrading for free to Windows 10. Thanks for watching. Hope this guide helps. Don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel. Just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.